doing a birthday blessing candle, um, a little spell for a friend. Um, this is a friend I haven't seen in a really long time, um, and I actually can't get a hold of them. We have this weird thing where we're in touch and out of touch. Right now we're out of touch, um, and we're both a little bit useless with our phones and things like that. So um, I am sending them um, magic, because that is all I can send them today. So um, I have this candle here, which I have carved with their name and their birth date, and then um, some little... Uh, keywords of what I want to send to them or what I am sending to them and then I have just three little birthday candles here these are like support candles um, and this is all surrounded with bird seed um, and as I'm laying that down I am stating what it is that I want for them and I laid it down in a sunwise direction so in the southern hemisphere that is anti-clockwise um, and I have anointed the candle with oil as well or dress the candle with oil rather um, I'm going to be writing a petition for them as well um, with a bit more detail about what I'm sending to them and I'll place that underneath this plate here for the candle to burn down on and the petition will be dressed with oil as well and this is a crown of success oil. So I just wanted to share that little bit of magic with you. Okay so the candle's been burning for a little while now but I just wanted to share because I realised for any of you who are new you know, I, some of the stuff I said might have been like, what? The crown of success oil that I was using, you can look up recipes for that online. Um, however, you can just use olive oil because um, this is a really lovely sort of birthday spell that you could do for yourself. You know, light up a larger candle, um, put your name and birth date on it, write a couple of keywords, you know, put a petition underneath. You don't have to have the extra candles. You can see these have already burnt out now. You can surround it with some bird seed, which costs a few dollars from the store or not. You can just have the candle um, and just dress it with a little bit of olive oil. So that means just to rub it with olive oil and you want to rub it from the base to the tip because this is bringing in. Okay, so if you're banishing something, you rub from tip to base. Um, but we're bringing in blessings and, um, you know, joy and peace and wishes and, you know, whatever it is that you want. So bring, uh, you know, dressing it up. Hello, <laughs> I am in a different section of my house today. I normally, I realized I'm always filming like in my room. Um, so this is like a, I call this the middle room. This is where I kind of have some of my painting stuff. There's an easel back there and a painting that I worked on once. I haven't done anything else yet. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I am painting a frame today because I have a gorgeous piece of artwork going in there. So I thought I would just show you the frame. So down here, um, I'm painting it this beautiful turquoise color. Look at this. So it's just a white frame. I loved the pattern, but I couldn't find a color I liked. So they had black or white, um, and I thought I would paint it turquoise. So I'll show you when it's all done. <laughs> Making it difficult to read. It is a bit difficult. Mm. Stop it, she's so cute. <laughs> and bath time. <laughs> Just reading this little number at the moment. I'm excited to read about it. I've heard about it for like ages and ages. And um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm literally on like the second page, sixth page, but you know, they start late. <laughs> and this keeps happening. August. These two cats, her and Roxy in particular, Vegeta too, but mostly these two are just like obsessed with anything scratchy. Scratch my face. I'm just doing a working this evening. Um, I'm supposed to be watching um, the next episode of The Last Kingdom with <laughs> my husband and my son, but I just had a little something that I needed to do for a little while first. Um, I'm working on this spell which is a long-term candle so I'm burning this over many weeks um, and so tonight I'm just doing a little feeding um, that's what's happening here I'm in the middle of this reading um, I have a another working going on over there and um, I just decided to pull out some cards because I had an interesting sign in the candle uh, when I blew it out well, I didn't blow it out, I snuffed it out, actually. Um, it's a new thing I'm playing with, <laughs> snuffing candles. Um, 
so anyway, I pulled a few cards. Um, so I have been looking into some things there. Here she is. So beautiful. The tea leaf reader. I'll put a link for the artist Etsy store down below, but oh, I love this artwork so much. It's not looking that great on camera, so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping in the editing process I can do something, but how good does it look? And it sits here under my clock, which no longer works because it ticks really loudly and annoyingly. My husband hates it. We have a Vegeta here who just wants cuddles and patch. While we're here, I'll show you my lounge room, I guess. I haven't done that. This is my pillow-covered couch. My husband fucking hates pillows, but I love them. So I've got my Frida Kahlo pillows there. Um, love this space. And then do you, do you recognize this person in the background here? So <laughs> because my husband hates pillows as a joke for Christmas, he bought me this Nicolas Cage um, changey pillow. So, you know, you rub it one way and it's red. You rub it the other way. It's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> so this fucking stupid pillow now. Guitar. It's my son's guitar. And we have this beautiful fireplace. We haven't lit a fire yet this season. It's still a little warm uh, because we live in a double brick house. So it doesn't. Well, it's that. But also we have a lot of snuggly things. Like I'm wearing this giant... Um, it's a cool dressing gown right now and it's so warm and we've got woodies and stuff so it hasn't quite been cold enough yet um and then for this beautiful painting this is by um leonard alfremov or something old popper thing um this was my first like purchased artwork this when this arrived this made me feel like such a grown-up so i mounted it on a canvas myself but um, my family's always quite disappointed. Like, for some reason, my mother-in-law's asked me, like, five times. She's like, did you paint that? I'm like, no. And she's like, you should have painted that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, love this so, so much. Um, and then I've got kind of a, an altar-type thing happening here. And um, this old chair. I love this chair so much. I've had to cover the whole bloody thing up, though, because... Although this... Look at this beautiful colour here. Just a little bit love it so much this is roxy's spot roxy loves here but look at the back ah it was like slightly falling apart when i first got it but every time the kids come over here they like sit on it and ruin it and whatever anyway so i really want to redo the back but i haven't figured out how to do that yet so i just cover it up <laughs> with pillows that fall through it this is an outdoor couch that we've stuck here. It's super gross right now because the cats, this is their favorite couch. So I bring it in when we've got people coming over, which we had last week. But then because they love it so much, I just like leave it here. I'm good like that. Yes, we have two pianos. What the fuck is this bullshit? So my husband loves playing the piano. Um, and this one is well over 100 years old. And, and a, uh, hang on, let me try and speak. A church pastor used to actually rent this house out from us. And when he left, um, the church was like, yeah, we'll just leave the piano here, you know. We don't really want it. These things weigh literally a fucking ton. Like, they're just awful to move. It's just, this is why people are giving away free pianos all the time. Because <laughs> they're like, please just come and take it. Anyway, so he left it here, so we're like, great, but it doesn't sound that good. And then my sister-in-law was like, you know, through the grapevine, I know someone who wants to rehome their piano. They don't want to get rid of it, but they want it around. So we're like, awesome, great, we need a quality piano. It's much more beautiful, right? It's a gorgeous piano, but it sounds even worse than that one. So now we have two fairly shitty pianos. <laughs> sitting in this lounge room it's been years you guys years at this point um so my husband keeps meaning to redo this one so he's going to like strip it all out and restring it and all of that and then we'll have a beautiful piano that sounds lovely that's the theory anyway but for now I'm stuck with two fucking pianos um and then I've got this kind of this was an altar. This was an ancestor shrine. Um, although I've moved out a lot of the pictures. Um, the pictures we had were just kind of like um, like funeral. Um, what are they called? You know the papers. 
where they have a picture of the person who's passed away and then a little bit about them and that sort of thing, like a pamphlet or whatever. So it didn't look very nice. So I really want to get those pamphlets framed. Um, but in the meantime, I've taken them off. Um, these flowers here, my sister gave me those for my birthday uh, two years, almost two years ago. And they have just dried, look at that, perfectly. The only difference between when they were alive and dried now is this little dude at the bottom has like flopped down. That's it. This is Australian native plants here. And look at that. It's just incredible. So anyway, we've got a few, a few bits and pieces. My great uncle made this. My Wojek, so my Polish great uncle <laughs> my mom's uncle um but yeah he made it so I just think it's the coolest thing I have no idea how he did that but it's very cool um so I have some stuffs here and some more stuffs here so yeah this is kitty tower and for some reason my husband's boots he's put them in there okay that's cool um and my husband's Udi. anyway this is the lounge room Dida. We love you. But what I actually wanted to show you mainly <laughs> was the beautiful painting. What's up, my people? It is Friday night uh, for one more minute, <laughs> and then it's going to be Saturday morning. I am up tonight. I'm up late. Normally at the moment, I'm going to bed a bit earlier. I tend to go through phases of like night owl, which is my default, and getting up early and being really awesome. I'm sorry, this is like bumping around, I know. I am having, I'm worried about the movement, a few wines. Yes, I am. And I am, look how cool I am. Oh, yes. I'm listening. This is just like a blast from the past. I just had to share how dorky I am. I am listening to the Triple X soundtrack right now. Triple X is a movie, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> uh, Vin Diesel, hello amazing soundtrack right like this was the shit back in the day I fucking loved this soundtrack I had the CD and I'd listen to it on my discman if you don't know what that is google it anyway so I'm just like going through and listening to this and I'm <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm gonna share who I really am I'm listening to triple x soundtrack and I'm playing Mejong okay anyway Saturday night, few wines, Mejong, Triple X. I'm just like rocking out and having the greatest time. Oh, my music just started. There's like really, how do I turn it off? Hang on. Got a, there's like a pause button. I always press it by mistake, but when I need to fucking press it, there we go. Okay. So it's got like heavier music on the soundtrack. There's like, um, R not R and B, it's like hip hop and like some, I don't know, different things on there. <laughs> I don't know. But there's like heavier music as well. And I used to listen to um, heavy metal and rock all the time, like for like a, for a season in my teenage years. But like it was on again, off again, on again, off again. And it's really interesting listening to it again. Like, I haven't listened to anything kind of heavy for a while. And it's not, like, the heaviest, all right? Like, relax for all of you metalheads out there. But, anyway, it's just really interesting. I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm so feeling it tonight. Um, I can't remember what I was saying before I interrupted myself with, like, loud music in my ears. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm getting up to this evening. Um, I have a light burning over there, as you can see. And I'm just, like, chilling in my room. I am in the middle of editing a video for you guys. It's going to be a bullet journal video. A bunch of you requested this, so I'm excited to get that up. And let me just share with you the book that I'm currently reading. Southern Conjure by Aaron Oberon. This is really good. I've only, I'm literally like, look, just at the start, right? So I've read six pages. <laughs> But I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So this is a really good one. Um, I actually find like the genre of magical books that I enjoy reading the most. Sorry, I'm just like seeing a hair here. The genre of magical books that I enjoy reading the most are American folk magic books. It is just like the best 
information that I'm finding at the moment. So those are the books that I'm really, really enjoying. I'm really loving Lucky Mojo's books. I have quite a few of those and I just love that they cut to the chase. The information in them is so good. And it, I find nuggets in them that like information that I've been looking for for a long time. Like I have this question in my head and I'm like, where can I find this answer? You know, and sometimes like I'll look around on the internet and I can't find it. And I'm, I'm not lucky enough at the moment to work with a mentor or work with a really good um, spell casting teacher. So, you know, it, sometimes it can be hard to find this stuff that you want the answer to, right? Um, but these books I'm finding like that, yeah, sometimes there's just these nuggets. I had it, I just read the uh, Hoodoo Candle Magic book. I just finished reading that and there was a couple of bits in there that I was like, yes, this is like just little nuggets that I was looking for, you know? So anyway, that's really exciting. Anyway, I have just lost my little cute, look at the color. Isn't that cute? I just started my music here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to play my Jean and listen to the music. Oh yes. I love this song. August is here helping me work. <laughs> We're taking some photos for a work project. So we just did the altar here, doing bits. And I think August wants to catch a candle flame. Is it a candle flame? Oh, my sweet baby girl. There was one video I did, I think I showed on Instagram, and she was like that tall, just that little gap behind here. And now look how big. Oh, the baby's getting so big. Hey, what's all that? What is that? No, it's not live. Oh, good. Okay. you regret that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sean knows nothing about anything. I know. He everything. knows nothing about nothing. Actually, the truth is I know something about everything. That's true. Yeah, I'm very I'll vouch for that. that. All right. So, Sean is coming up with a spell for us. Okay. All right. Now, are we staying with money? Yeah, sure. Prosperity. Bring He's also on. obsessed with salt and pepper. <laughs> the perfect couple. The perfect couple, apparently. Just in case Just... you see that one of your future spells, know where it came from. <laughs> okay. Prosperity. What do you do? Uh, Go. You prosperity. need to attract. Okay, let's say I need twenty thousand dollars. You can't be exact. You can only attract. You can be exact. You can only attract opportunity. Incorrect. You can you can try and attract a specific amount. Yes. But you're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All you can attract is energy, and energy um, is sometimes. Uh, converted well and sometimes it's converted poorly mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so to convert to attract money energy yes what you need is the essence of growth and that is Dirt. the earth yeah. things that grow from the earth so get a piece of wood get a woody <laughs> Sean what YouTube <laughs> <laughs> Keep it G-rated. Kids don't know what that means. Uh -huh. Yeah, they just think of Toy Story. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> get, get a get doll a with a hat. Or, you know, a large rock hard. Sean. You know, Please stop. I actually stick. want to put this into a vlog. Stop it. <laughs> Go get a stick. Get a stick yeah, or a lump okay. of wood. Lump of wood. Being serious now. All right. Serious so we get a lump of wood. Yes. And then we want to... Mm -hmm. Imbue the wood. Mm, very good. Is that a good word? That's a good word. A good, imbue, imbue it. Right? yes. I'm imbue it with thoughts. Okay. No thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Continue, please. All right. We're going to anoint the wood. With what? We're going to anoint the wood with olive oil. Okay. All right. And we're going to bless the growth of our future in oil. Mm hmm. All right. And so on the wood, it needs to be a thick enough piece of wood that you can write on it. You need to write in dark text uh, <clears throat> um, the specific amount that you need. And not because you get that specific amount, but because 
it'll attract the amount of energy that you need to get to that place and whether you convert that well enough is the idea. You were right. talking well, although you told me I was a fool You're for a wanting fool. A, f a certain amount. You're a fool. <laughs> I, however, <laughs> am foolless. Oh, okay. Yeah. Continue. Mm -hmm. So, take your bit of wood, Proves write the video. specific number, mm -hmm. specific, down to the dollar. If you've got sense, feel free to put them in as well. Although... You'll be a fool. You'll be a fool. <laughs> Go eager if you really want. So, uh, you take your bit of wood, write yep. your number on it, and then yes. you get your olive oil, yes. dab it on your finger, and you strike it across the wood, stroke it. You know? Like the long, <laughs> hard piece of wood that it is. I hate you. <laughs> this is a waste of time. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And you speak these specific YouTube's words. YouTube's going to hate you, just so you know. You s who? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Okay. It's a person. I've never been on YouTube. Well, <laughs> You're gonna be. I watch it. But I just don't you know. <laughs> now I'm gonna be on YouTube. All right. Strike the wood. <laughs> you just failed again. <laughs> All right. So Anoint with olive oil. With olive Please oil. continue. And speak these words. <laughs> Serious. Oh, hardwood. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just, um, chilling at my altar this evening. It has recently exploded. And all kinds of inspiration has been coming through. <laughs> Where to begin, right? Well, let's begin in the middle, because that's what's happening at the moment. Um... I'm kind of doing two separate readings. Um, this was my card for the day and I've just shuffled and um, I've got some other cards that have come up um, uh, for a question that I asked related to my day kind of thing. Um, and actually I've got three readings going on and this one, um, that's communication with, um, a spirit that I work with and this here is part of another reading. Um, just want a quick little question I asked, so I pulled a card for it and then I was like, oh, okay. So I've got to go back and, um, ask a little bit. I just, there's things coming up about that and it's something I'm going through this evening. So I've got, that's the deck for that reading um, and I'm sort of switching around between the two the deck for this one is over there and the deck for this one is right there and then I have um, so this is a Rider weight um, and it's like sepia toned or whatever um, and I really love the uh, the finish on these cards I think it's called linen I could be wrong um, I'm not like a tarot uh, collecting the expert and I don't really keep up with the GSM and the the paper size and the you know <laughs> I'm a little bit more chill um I don't have that many decks relative to a lot of um people <laughs> anyway um this is the revelations tarot this is a super cool deck um actually created by a guy who is Australian um, or lives in Australia yeah and his artwork is just absolutely like divine like it's beautiful so that deck as well and this is the gypsy witch tarot so I've got um, this is from an order that I just made so I've got these just still sort of sitting here I'm playing with them um, I'm getting to know them a little bit um, so yeah I've got a couple of um, I've got an oil, a perfume, and some herbs, and a, um, this is super cool, this is a devil nut, or a, a devil pod, sorry, and a bat nut. <laughs> um, this is just really cool, I was reading about this through a few various resources, and I was like, oh, that's not something I'll ever, you know, get to be able to play with, because it's not part of my biosphere at all. Um, but there's actually a course that I'm wanting to do and to do the course I need to purchase things from a few different categories so I was like you know what 
this is super cool um i would love to actually be able to play with this so this is going to make a talisman at some point i think um there is a spirit that i work with i would like to work with them as i work with this <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> No.